Stick the name Dunk on a sneaker these days and you're just about guaranteed to get great sales because the Dunks have been all over it for about 18 months now. Probably the best shoe in the Nike stable, if you ask me. They really haven't missed a beat for about 18 months. Everything's been absolutely beautiful. And a lot of it's been to do with collaborations, but this one here is all stripped back. Nothing to do with collaborations. It's a very sort of simple looking shoe. But then, for some bizarre reason, they've gone with like eight different tones of brown on it. You look at it and you think it's one of those two-tone dunk, the browns and the whites, but it turns out there's about eight different colors on there. I'm going to take you through each and every one of them, and then we'll also get into the name of the shoe, the medium curry, because there are definitely things to talk about when it comes to how you take your curries. Now, I have my way of eating curries. You'll have your way of eating curries, and we'll get into all that today as we take a close-up look at the upcoming release of the Nike Dunk Low Medium Curry. This is the Tokyo Butter 23 Sneaker Channel. Tokyo Bada 23 sneaker channel days. My name is Jeff Sudo, my name is Jimmy Takurasai. Every single day from Tokyo, Japan, I bring content about upcoming sneaker releases, sneaker news, and sneaker reviews. And today that's no different as we take a look at a Nike Dunk Low that's coming around the corner on January the 28th. And it's a very clean shoe. And it does everything that I want a Nike Dunk Low to do. It's very simple, but it's got a bunch of little different hits in there and it comes with really luxe beautiful materials as well. So everything about it says absolutely yes for me. And it's got that little story called the medium curry. And I'm gonna go and tell you right off the bat, hopefully I won't offend anyone here. I like my curry medium, uh, not too spicy, not too plain, but they, you know, I think when it comes to curries, most people, uh, or a lot of people who are proud of themselves, like, you know, I like my curries nice and hot, blah, blah, blah. Um, and uh, maybe there'll be a few people out there that wanna hit me up with a comment down below, uh, telling me I'm a bit of a wuss for saying I just want medium and not hot or extra hot or like crazy hot actually speaking of that i don't know about you guys out there in the rest of the world but here in japan there are often tv shows where you get celebrities trying to heat heat trying to eat the spiciest thing on the menu and it's all about them just you know, crying sweating and unable to get through like a solid chili and all that kind of stuff um and uh, i never thought of that before looking at this shoe but i suppose it makes sense maybe it'll be a big thing about this shoe here in japan and people will be very interested in it because of that tie up to curry and spicy food and that's a big thing on tv here uh, so what i said was uh, at the start of this video two things one one was that i was going to you know, ask you guys what you uh, like in your curries and then tell you that I like mine as a medium. And then the other one was to go through this and have a look at all the different color hits on this uh, because there are so many and it looks so simple, but it turns out to be a lot more complicated than that. Uh, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start right at the back and look at the branding on there for two reasons. One is because there's a lot of different colors on there, which helps us start this look at all those different colors on the shoe. Uh, but the other reason is because uh, I talk about it all the time, but it's especially evident on this shoe particularly obvious on this shoe that that E in the branding panel there just doesn't fit. And I haven't seen an E not fit this much for a long time on the dunks. You know, sometimes there's just a little sort of hint that the E doesn't fit on there. But on these guys, my goodness, it's like half the top, half of the, the letter is completely cut off or slanted. So uh, so it's a great place to start. Uh, but then on top of that, you get to look at some of the colors. So the, the, the Nike branding itself is in the deepest of the browns that come on the shoe and later on we'll see that reflected in the outsole uh, but it's placed on top of that standard shape panel of branding there and it's i'm going with tan for this now i might get the actual names of these wrong like it might not be tan it might be beige for example uh, but hopefully i'll get the names right but you'll get the point especially because you can look at it on the green screen behind me here as well uh, so you'll be able to see the browns and the tans and the beiges and the sails and all that and you'll know what i'm talking about so first things first uh, the branding on the back the nike branding on the back the deepest of the browns and that's housed on that branding panel in what i'm calling tan and we'll get to the swooshes in a minute because you can see them sticking out a little bit uh, but just below that you get uh, what i'm gonna go with is white now I might have that wrong because this is the most difficult place on the shoe to see the color. Uh, and to me, it matches the toe box. So if we quickly jump away from the heel and go to the toe box, what you'll see is that the overlay is wrapping around the toe box in suede, beautiful, beautiful material are obviously in the medium color medium color, medium curry color way. Uh, but underneath that, you've got the toe box itself and I'm seeing white for that. Uh, and that's uh, to me, the white part on the toe. And then if you go back to the sort of top line, the highest part on the ankle looks like it's white to me there. Now, I don't know for sure if I've got that right, but that's just my impression. But back to the heel, dark brown Nike, 
on the tan branding and then the the white that, that houses the rest of that and then below that you've got the the heel the ankle support in that medium curry tan um the suede that, that holds the whole ankle together so you've got three four different colors on the back end of these things already uh, and so you can see what i mean about so many different colors and so many different shades of brown on these guys now coming to let's go to the lateral side because uh, that brings us you know drags that branding panel around from the back uh, and keeps it there because of the swooshes which match that branding panel on the back uh, so i called it tan on the back so i better call these swooshes tan uh, so you've got the swooshes in tan and then you've got those overlays that we talked about that run up uh, from the heel across the lacing system down the quarter line and then wrap around the front of the shoe in that medium curry color way and it's in the, the suede materials too uh, but what's interesting on here is the mid foot panel that these these swooshes on top of and all that suede wraps around uh, which is in another different color uh, of, of uh, brown um, and this is kind of interesting to me because uh, usually the toe the midfoot uh, and the top line the sort of uh, highest part of the ankle would all be in the same color but I'm seeing the front and the back of these guys is white but the panel that has a swoosh on it the midfoot there has been a, a more brown color to it than uh, than white so that's my take on there but then it's easy to go down from there and have a look at the two final pieces of color on this one which is the midsole i'm going with sale for two particular reasons i want to go with sale one is because i think it's sale which is a very good reason to say that it's sale but the other is because just about every shoe i talk about these days has a hit of sale in there somewhere from the whole upper like the jordan 5 chinese new years i think the whole upper on those guys was sale uh, to little hits like these guys here with the uh, the midsole on these guys being a hit of sale uh, and then finally we finish up by flipping them upside down and have a look at that outsole on there and that fully solid brown which matches the branding the nike branding on the heel that we already talked about so uh, so all in all i mean um different shades of brown you've got the outsole you've got the midsole you've got the midfoot you've got the swoosh um you've got the overlays and you've got the toe and the uh, the heel section so i'm going with six different colors of brown but where they haven't gone with brown is uh, on the laces so if we go up high and have a look at the laces there's a lot of simple about the laces on these guys and then traveling back from that onto the tongue and onto the branding at the top of the tongue very white very simple and then the branding at the top of the tongue and very um, the, the branding at the top of the tongue in a very simple brown to match that heel branding and the outsole on these guys as well so i'm going to go with six different shades of brown on these guys so it's much more complicated shoe than i was expecting i thought it's going to be a very simple dunk in that simple kind of two-tone standard dunk motif but it's not it's more complicated than that and on top of that it's also got those luxe materials especially the suede the wrap around the full length of the shoe so for me it's more beautiful than I expected. I was expecting a simple but very nice shoe. And what I got was a very nice shoe, but it's much more complicated than I thought. But I still think it's a very cool shoe. And I think, you know, as the Dunks did in 2010, 20, here we are in 2021, they're keeping it going and bringing us the new year with new stuff, but no change in the story of Dunks being at the top of the Nike tree, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, and that's about it for me today, guys. So uh, it's been, you know, it's been just a weird old time at the channel for the last um, four weeks or so, like over the Christmas, new year period I had uh, time off work but I didn't get any chance to sort of um, get ahead of the channel like I'm always in a battle where I feel like I'm racing against the channel and sometimes I'll have six or seven videos waiting to go uh, and other times I'm shooting a video on the day that I actually have to get up onto the YouTube uh, and I was hoping that the holiday would bring me a chance to catch up but it didn't and I'm still sort of chasing my tail so I'm shooting this video late on Sunday night and I think it's for Tuesday so I'm a little bit ahead of the curve but not much I was hoping to be more ahead of the curve than I am but such is life we just keep on keeping on and I'm going to do that every single day uh, and I'll do that by ending this video in the way that I do every single day as well which is remind you that because I do this every single day that means that you are guaranteed to see me tomorrow.